What's up guys, it's your girl Kat Sullivan with Marketing Solved and in today's 15 Minute Marketing Monday with Kat, you are going to learn 15 amazing ways. These are clever, these are strategic and these are successful ways that you can get more people to like your Facebook fan page. So if you've been trying to build a community on Facebook, this video is going to tell you exactly what to do to make it happen. Catherine Sullivan is the CEO and founder of Marketing Solved a serial entrepreneur, marketing coach, and online educator. You want to know this woman. Welcome to Monday Morning Marketing with Kat Sullivan. Today you're going to learn 15 ways, clever ways, to grow your Facebook page and get more page likes. Number one, you want to share it to your personal profile. Now a lot of you are going to be like, uh, super basic, Kat. Except what you don't know is the amount of people that watch you on Facebook that don't necessarily engage with everything that you post. Every time I post something on my personal profile, even if I just tag Marketing Solved or Tassie, I get an influx of new likes to those pages. So you don't have to always be sharing, hey, look at my Facebook page. Hey, if you haven't already, go like my page. You can simply talk about what you're sharing over at Marketing Solved or what you're doing over at Tassie or what you're doing at your company. And when you tag it in your posts on your personal profile, you will start to see that people will slowly start to go over and like your page. So some things that you can do are say, hey, this morning on my Facebook page, tag it, I shared three quick tips about XYZ. And if people are interested, they're gonna follow up and they're gonna go like your page. So the first thing you should be doing, the very first one is make sure that you're sharing your Facebook page to your personal profile, okay? One, down. Number two, you want to, or you can, add a pop-up to your website. So, I have WordPress and WordPress has different plugins that you can add to your website. And I'm going to show you an example of this and what that does for you. Let me open this up is it makes it super easy for people to like your page right there, right on that, that pop-up. So if you are struggling or let's say that you really want to focus on ramping up the amount of people that are connected to you on Facebook, Go ahead and add a pop-up or a like box, light box. So these little boxes are called light boxes. And you can go ahead and add this one so that it says like my page. I can get you a link to where you can build one of these out in a little bit. But just think of other ways that you want to get in front of people and get them to start liking your Facebook page. So this is a friend of mine. This is his website. He said that this has worked amazingly well and he's got a giant community. So I think that he's someone that we should definitely take some advice from when it comes to liking a Facebook page. Number two, done, right? Okay. Number three, I'm going to stop the share. Number three is you want to announce it when you are a guest on someone's podcast or if you have your own podcast or if you have your own show. So one thing that I always do when I interview a podcast guest is I say, where would you like people to connect with you? And when people ask me that, I direct people. I don't direct them to my website. I direct them to my Facebook page. And I direct them specifically to my page because I know that from there, I'm going to be able to build a better connection with them. And I'm going to be able to, again, connect with them in the future. So I always say, hey, if you guys want to connect with us here at Marketing Solve, we recommend that you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash. It's a little bit of a weird vanity URL, but we'll say go to Marketing Solved, or if you type in Marketing Solved at any of the social networks, you'll find us. So we always direct people to our Facebook community versus sending them to our website where they're probably going to get lost. They might read a blog. They might download something. They might get distracted, right? As long as they go to my page, they'll like, they'll stay in touch. They'll connect. Hopefully they'll go to our group. Hopefully they'll end up on our email list. So we always make sure that we use that to help direct people to our page. Are these good so far? If you guys like them, let me know which one you like the most. If they're new to you, let me know. I'm super curious to hear which ones of these you haven't heard of before or haven't tried. Okay. So number four, I've got share or advertise a post and 
check my cheat sheet, invite people to like it after. So let me show you what I mean by this one. When you share a post, okay, when you share a post to your personal profile, all right, and those people like the actual post, or if I take this post and I share it into my Facebook group and people start liking the actual post, well, what happens is the post itself starts getting more likes on it. And these are from people some who are already connected to your page, some who are not connected to your page. So if you run an ad, like for this one, I shared it in our Facebook group. Then I ran a quick, I think maybe like a $4 ad spend behind it to get it in front of more people. And then what happens is you get a lot of people who like the post itself. Then what you can do is you can go ahead and click on that and come in here and say, hey, now I'm gonna invite people who don't already like the page. So I can just run through here and send all these invitations to up to 98 people who liked this post. And if they're interested, they'll go and they'll like my page. So that's a clever way for you to spend a few bucks, get in front of a bigger audience. And this is also successful if you don't want to run an ad and you just want to share it to a group or you just want to share it to your personal profile. Either way, that original post will still accumulate more people liking it. And if you know those people like that kind of content, well then inviting them to like your page to get more of that content doesn't seem so out of the blue, right? You definitely wanna start using this if you haven't already. All right, number five, join a Facebook follow Friday thread. Well, you can join a Facebook follow thread. I do ours on Friday. So if you're looking to grow your Facebook page, a lot of people have success with this. And we have had a ton of success with this. When I was just starting out as a blogger a million years ago, this is how us bloggers grew all of our pages so quickly. We did Facebook follows. And so we would say, hey, I'll follow you if you follow me. And then what happens is you start to build this really big following. So if you're looking for a Facebook follow thread, we have one in the Marketing Solved group that you guys can join every Friday, and they're really, really successful. So 127 comments on this one, and this one was just from last Friday. There are other groups that do follows. You could probably find some niche-specific groups that will do follows, but one thing you just want to keep in mind is make sure that if you're going to do a Facebook follow thread, that you are in front of the right audience, that you're not just collecting Facebook followers who are your competition or who aren't targeted, right? If you are offering parenting advice, then getting in a group that is talking about gardening and having them like your page, there's gonna be a disconnect, right? So you're gonna have low engagement because they don't actually like your content. So make sure that if you do Facebook follow threads that you are getting in front of an audience that's definitely gonna interact with your stuff and hopefully, potentially, maybe even become a customer host a giveaway. So giveaways are really, really a great way for you to get more people liking your page because you can make the entry like this page to enter. And there's different tools that you can use. I'll give you three quick tools. One is Woobox. So I think it's Woobox.com. Two is Gleam. Dot io. It's G-L-E-A-M, gleam.io. And the third tool is Viper. And I think it's also viper.io. And those three tools are amazing to actually host and run the giveaway. You can have them like your Facebook page in order to enter. And you can say, enter in your email address. So this is a quick bonus for you guys. Enter in your email address, and then you collect a lead, and you get a like, and they're entered into the giveaway. So hosting a giveaway is another really good way to get some more people liking your page. All right, number seven. And this is a three one, a threefold, okay? You want to add your Facebook page link to your email signature. Right, so emails go out, at the bottom you could say connect with me on Facebook here. Get more tips on XYZ here. And then you wanna link to your Facebook page. You also wanna add it to your thank you page and your about us page. So I will show you here quickly, we've got the Marketing Solve thank you page. If you opt in to something that we give away, we redirect you to this page. Sometimes we do trip fi- tripwires, sometimes we do this. And you can see here that we say, hey, join our community. So the first thing is 
join our Facebook group. The second thing is if you're on Facebook, join us over here at our Facebook page. So you can simply add your links to your page in those various areas on your about us. Hey, want to learn more about who we are? Click here, join our Facebook page, and then you can get some more training, right? So these are three super simple ways that you can start getting more people liking your page. Now I'm going to, I'm going to interject and I'm going to give you a bonus. I'm going to give you a bonus for getting more Facebook page likes. And what it is, is essentially if you are like us here at Marketing Solved, or if you take any of my advice where I tell you to make offers and get people opting in, what you can actually do is, let me show you just an example. Um, if you have someone who opts in, you can set the redirect page. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. I'm going to enter in my information. Imagine that you are doing this for your audience. When they hit this button, you can actually set the redirect link, this link, instead of it being the thank you page, you can set that to be your Facebook page. So anyone that opts in is automatically redirected to your Facebook page and then they can like it and then they can connect with you from there. So that's just a little bonus tip that's not on your sheet, but if you're watching, it's super successful. Also, fun fact, we did that for our Facebook group and that's how we got it uh, up to the first thousand. We had set the redirect to the Facebook group. A ton of people joined the group and that's really how we kind of kicked it off. Bonus. All right. All right. Number, what are we at? I think I'm at eight. Add it as your Facebook workplace. Okay. So here on your profile, you can add it as an as a clickable link on your profile. So you can say workplace and you can actually link it on your personal profile and you'd be amazed at how many people actually connect with me through there. So it's really cool because if people are checking you out or maybe they heard about you or someone said something about you or maybe they heard you on a podcast or saw you somewhere, when they go to your profile to check you out, they're like, who is this person? And then they can click and then they can connect to you via your Facebook page. Okay, so another really good one. Using social share buttons on your blog. So this is another one. Social share buttons on your blog. That's these little bad guys right here. Now, how does this help you grow your Facebook page? Well, essentially, when they click this and they share it, this is for other people who are gonna share to Facebook, right? What's gonna happen is it's gonna let people connect with you, connect with your site, and it's gonna get people back over to your page. So again, it shares the article, but it shares it on Facebook. So other people are gonna start seeing your name, they're gonna start connecting with you, and it's just another way that you can use share buttons to let people, other people, share your content on your behalf, which is gonna bring more people into your community. You want to invite people who are on your email list to like your Facebook page. Super simple. You can say anything you want in the emails, but at the end, you can put PS. If you're interested in this kind of training, join us on our Facebook page, right? Or you can say we're hosting a giveaway over on our Facebook page. Go ahead and like it to enter and then enter your information on the giveaway. So make sure that you're connecting with your different audiences. If you have a Facebook group, tell them about your page. If you have an email list, tell them about your page, okay? Then you want to, ah, this is a good one. Embed Facebook posts into your blog. All right. So you may or may not know this, but when you look at a Facebook post, you can come over here and you can click this, these three little dots. And let me go to one that I'm not on. This one should work. And it will say, embed and from there you can simply grab this code and then literally embed it onto your website so it'll look something like this this is a linkedin embedded post but you can do the same thing with facebook and essentially people can then interact with your facebook page content right on your website so one that's super cool because it's going to help you grow obviously you're going to get more engagement you're going to get people clicking and it's going to draw people back to your page all right so you use that embed feature to get more people interacting with your stuff okay next up is running ads except when you run an 
add, you want to exclude your existing Facebook page community. What that does for you is one, it takes your ad and it adds a little like option directly on the ad. So your ads only going to be seen by people who are not connected to your page. And that way, right when they see it, if they look at the ad, it'll say, like page. So even if they don't interact with your ad, they can simply click the like page from the ad. And so you'll be able to do two things, right? You're building your community, you're driving clicks and traffic, and maybe you're collecting opt-ins as well. But the only way to execute that is by excluding your existing community. And that's a function that you can do in the ads manager. I would show you, but we're totally over time. So I can't next time guys, we'll have to do that one next time. Then you want to post consistently every single day, post consistent content every single day. And then the last one is going to be rewarding your top fans. And I've only seen a couple of pages do this, but essentially people that comment on all of your posts become top fans. And you could host a giveaway that's only exclusive to your top fans. We might be hosting one very soon. Stay tuned. So it reinforces why people should like your page. It reinforces why they should engage so they can get that top fan badge. And then three, it rewards them for really interacting with you. Okay. So those are 15 super quick ways and clever ways that you can grow your Facebook page. And I'm going to give you one more because this is one that I do. And I've been able to draw a lot of success from it, not just growing our page, but getting sales because they're targeted. Anytime I meet someone at a networking event and they say, Hey, where can I connect with you? I say, find me on Facebook. Every single one. I not, here's my phone number, not here's this. I say, find us on Facebook and connect with us there. And it's a super simple way for you to make that connection. Here's my Facebook page. It's marketing solve. Make sure you connect, leave me a comment so that I can connect with you. And that's how I network with people to grow my Facebook page as well. All right. I hope you guys found those 15 tips helpful. Plus those little bonus tips that I threw in there for you. I would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment, which one was your favorite or tell me which one you are going to try first. Keep me posted. Cause I want to make sure you guys are taking action. Now, if you found this video helpful, please make sure that you like comment and subscribe to our channel so that we can continue to bring you guys amazing trainings just like this. As always, thank you for joining. Go take some action. Mwah. Love you guys.